in this video I'm just going to talk about how <laughs> the complaints about Cyberpunk 2077 running poorly on last gen systems, i.e. the PS4 and the Xbox One, are, uh, they're valid, but not surprising. So, uh, this is just going to be a short video of me talking about that. So we'll get into it after the cut. So the thing you have to realize is that uh, CD Projekt Red was making multiple SKUs of this game. And CD Projekt Red, even though um, you know people give them a lot of a lot of uh, a, a lot of uh, accolades, they are. I mean, roughly speaking, they're like a double A studio. All right, it would be the equivalent to Bethesda's games. All right, except their games aren't uh, as buggy as Bethesda's games. Okay. Bethesda Softworks, okay? So basically, um, they were making this they were making they, they were making this game for the lead platform, which is PC. But then there's like three SKUs for PC. There's Steam, GOG, their own uh, platform, and Epic. Alright? And let's add Stadia and GeForce now. So that's five SKUs right there for one game. All on PC. But that was probably minor things they had to do for each of those. But then there's um, the last gen consoles, which is uh, the PS4 and the Xbox One. That's another two, so that's seven SKUs. Then they're also working on versions for, they're also the versions for PS5 and Xbox uh, Series X. So that's nine SKUs. <laughs> nine SKUs of one game. Now, uh, CD Projekt Red was more, was better funded and had more time to work on this game than uh, you know uh, the team that made Mighty Number no. Nine, but I mean it's the same problem. You can't like you can't make a game uh, and have it have you know enough content for you to be able to do all that shit. It's just not gonna work. So sadly. The shit didn't work out. People need to calm the fuck down, and uh, people need to calm the fuck down and uh, stop worrying about it. I mean, I feel. I mean, the argument is valid for people who got this for the PS4 and the Xbox One. Um, I understand where they're coming from, but at the end of the day, let's keep it 100% real. Uh, <laughs> This game was not made, like, really, like, that's not the best way to enjoy this game. This game was made for PC first. So if you don't have a decent gaming PC, you aren't going to be getting the best experience for this game. I mean, to be honest with you, if you're playing this game on any console, you really shouldn't, because this game is PC first. The control scheme is very PC friendly. I'm, I'm playing it with a controller, and I'm seeing the limitations of me playing it with a controller. But I, I'm doing it. Uh, so, I mean, this game is for PC first, so, I mean, if you're playing it on console, you're playing it in the most limited way possible. Um, and that's just the way it is. So, you know, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'll get to the conclusion after the cut. So, in conclusion, the people who are complaining about this game not running well on consoles, um, they have a valid complaint, but this wasn't built for consoles. <laughs> this was, you know, it's the equivalent of someone complaining that, like, taking a modern uh, game that's on a CD, that's built for, for a modern CD player, I mean a modern CD drive for a computer, even though most computers don't have modern CD drives, but you can buy a USB uh, connected CD drive and that's how you do whatever. And uh, you basically complaining that uh, that a, a CD built for modern CD player, CD drives for, for a CD reader for a computer, but then you try to use it on like a two, t two times speed CD driver from like 20 years ago. And complaining, ah, it's not loading that quickly. It wasn't built for that. <laughs> it can do it, but it's not going to be the optimal way to do it. So, uh, 
you know, your complaints are valid, but why are you fucking surprised? <laughs> so th that's my opinion. Um, if you would like to hear more analysis from this channel, you can, uh, channel is BS Busters. Ring that bell, rate, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, don't be afraid to join our Discord, BS Busters on Discord. The invite is in the, uh, uh, the description. Um, you can also tweet me on Twitter at Matthew Wesley at MrRedBots91, or you can reach me at Gmail at MrRedBotsBSBusters at gmail.com. That's the end of this video. Rate, comment, share, subscribe. Peace!